Hi there and welcome back to a new SketchUp rendering tutorial. Today I'd like to show you another feature of the uh, rendering program iRender Next. Uh, the feature is the image layer wizard which I think I can easiest explain as a tool to place a background behind the model you've created in SketchUp which I personally think is definitely very handy and very useful um, when it comes to uh, creating designs in SketchUp and will definitely make the renders you make much more realistic. Uh, so for this tutorial to explain uh, what the image layer wizard is, I've decided to um, create a very minimalistic penthouse. It's not very detailed, but that's because the design of the penthouse simply isn't the most important part of this tutorial. The windows in the penthouse are very important though, because through those windows will in the end be seeing the background. Uh, so I have decided to add like some like good windows to the model but anyways to add uh, a background to your uh, model you should go to this uh, icon in your uh, render um, interface which is called the SketchUp option or the setup options I mean not SketchUp and then normally there's like no uh, background image and um, normally I think it starts at preset and then you have to go to background which is this one and then here you see that there's currently no background image selected. There you click on browse. Yeah, there we go. We have the image of a skyline of New York. And um, to actually set the image in such a way that it's like placed correctly, I'm going to uh, click on layer wizard, but first I'm actually going to choose the right angle. So I think this is the angle I would like to uh, yeah, make the render from. And I'd like to have like New York in the background through the windows. Uh, so now we go back to setup options, the same icon as last time, and you click on layer wizard. And then this is uh, going to load. It says it takes a few minutes. Maybe it's my PC, but it only takes a few seconds. And then here you actually see the image behind um, yeah, the shot I decided to uh, create from our SketchUp model. So now you can, as you can see, just move this around. And uh, it seems as if this is an actual like apartment or a penthouse in New York. Since the shot of this model is straight in front of the window, we don't have to change the perspectives. So I click on the green render button here and that will make that I can um, just simply render the image. So as you can see, this uh, says the location and um, these are some other options which I'll talk about later on. As you can see, if you move this around, the background uh, positioning, uh, changes and if you uh, want like an image to be positioned exactly the same every time you render you can of course keep this in mind but for now I think this is like a good view uh, it's kind of a high high building I guess we could say uh, from which uh, the top of this apartment is but let's just start rendering and then I'll get back to you when we have the model there we go so um, this is what the uh, model turned out to look like and I think, um, yeah, this looks pretty good uh, for the, um, yeah, just to make this tutorial easier, I've decided to not put any glass into the windows uh, because that would actually make um, it much harder when it comes to the rendering. Um, but as you can see, this is what the model turned out to look like. In the end, overall, it really looks like a penthouse now. So therefore, adding backgrounds is very handy. So as I said, it's very easy to actually add like a background to your model when you're like right in front of it. But now we'll um, look at it from an angle and see uh, whether that's as easy as well. So now let's move um, yeah, our camera angle and let's just choose this angle to go for. I think this is kind of a good angle to go for as well. So now let's click on setup options again. If you want to have the same image, which I will do for this tutorial, you can of course leave this the same. And then you just go to layer wizard again. The other options aren't very important in this case. Um, you'll just be able to just make a good background without using those options. So as you can see now, this does not look really realistic. Of course, you kind of want to um, yeah, have this look better. So uh, for that, you have to click on perspective and then you can change the size of one side actually and in that way especially if you actually make sure the image kind of fits the wall in that way it will look much more realistic and it will just fit um, the right perspective I think um, so for example this is an example what you um, could put it you can of course also with this um, yeah, feature um, just do whatever you want but I think this would in the end 
turn out uh, most realistic. So let me see. I think this is fine. I'm, I'm just going to render it uh, clicking on the green render button again. All right, so it's now rendered and I think it turned out pretty okay, but I think it could be better. So I'm uh, actually going to uh, go back into SketchUp again and we're going to make a little change because I think, um, or at least I know that there is a way to actually make this look even better. And in that way you actually have full perspective or you can actually like use the full perspective. All right, so again, we go to setup options uh, to make this happen and you click on layer wizard. Uh, it will load again and then here instead of choosing perspective we'll go for full and that will make that you can actually change the location uh, of one certain like yeah point one of those red points you can actually really um, adjust um, yeah the background to your model and that will make it look much better I think so I think this looks much better and much more realistic. So now let's render it and see if it is actually is uh, yeah, better. Right, so this is the end result. And that makes that we are now at the end of this tutorial uh, about the image layer wizard of uh, the rendering program I render next. Um, so if you'd like to know more about uh, the rendering program I render next, I uh, advise you to either check out my other tutorials I've made for them or check out renderplus.com. The link will also be in the description and there you can learn more about this uh, rendering program. So um, yeah, to conclude, I think this is really a good feature of our render next and we'll definitely be using it. And it's also very easy to use as you saw in the video. I think everyone can seriously do, uh, do it and it really also depends on the model you've made, what background fits to it, of course. But um, yeah, anyways, good luck with rendering your backgrounds. And then I hope to see you back in another tutorial.